Sometimes when you finish making a handmade card, you might be super happy with it, but think there's maybe just a little something extra that it needs to make it super special. I get that too, and whenever I have that problem, you know what I do? I use border peel-offs. As you can see, I'm a little bit obsessed. I have a lot of different designs. But what are border peel-offs? Well, quite simply, they're stickers which you can stick along your card to create shiny, pretty borders alongside your card. My second magic weapon to finish off handmade cards is sticky back gemstones. And again, you can see, I mean, this is a big box. I have a lot to choose from. So these are quite similar. They're sticky as well. So they're all pretty gemstones and they're all flat back so they'll go really nicely on your card and best of all they're sticky so you don't need any glue you can just peel them off of the paper here and then stick them to places on your card for a little bit of extra added sparkle so they come in all different shapes and sizes and colours and best of all they are really affordable and you get loads on a sheet so they last a long time Okay, so let's dive in and transform this little teddy bear card into one that's got nice glitzy edges and gemstones on the corners. The first thing to do is to choose your um, border peel-offs that you're going to use. So if I have a flick through, I'm thinking for this design because it's got so many yellows and browns that gold is going to be better than silver. So let's look at my gold ones okay so I've got straight line ones here I've got heart shapes I've got some corners and they're probably not going to work because they're going to be too big um, and then these ones are some nice wavy edges and I think that's probably what I'll choose because I like adding wavy edges it's just that little bit more interesting So, let's start with these. So I'm going to put these along the edges of the squares of paper to bring it all together, add in some gold that's going to go on each of the different bits so it's all going to match, it's going to have that really nice shiny sparkleness to it and it's just going to finish everything off nicely. Another reason I like to use the border peel-offs is I am awful at sticking things on straight. You might be able to see on this one, it's it, the papers are not quite straight on the white card. I'm just, I've never been good at it. I'll probably never be good at it. Um, but border peel-offs let you fix your errors if you haven't stuck something straight. Because what you can do is you can stick them a little bit wonky on here to give the illusion that actually your lines are straight. So if you've got more colour showing on one side than the other, you can stick it at a slight angle to make that gap the same and that is my best card making hack and I use it pretty much on every card I make because of my inability to stick anything straight. <laughs> okay so to use them you just peel off the bit you want to use and then go to your card and just stick it down on one side Use your finger and then just gently let it fall. You don't want to pull it and stretch it because then it will go out of shape or you might break it because these are quite narrow and thin and delicate. Okay, so as you've finished, push, push it down and then when you get to the end, if you've got a bit too much, just take your scissors and trim it down to size. And that is one side done. So I'm going to need another bit. If you've got lots of designs on one sheet, like this one is, you need to just be careful that you peel off the same design for each um, side that you're going to do, otherwise it won't match, which will look a little bit weird. So I've now gone through all of the outside edges and added the gold peel-offs so it's ready for me to start doing the same thing on the edge of the yellow and the edge of the printed card. 
I've stuck all the peel-offs down now, so my card is really starting to have that wonderful luxury finish look to it. So there's just one more thing to do, and that's to cover up all of these messy corners where the border peel-offs meet with some gemstones. Now, in typical fashion, I don't actually have any gold ones to match the borders exactly, but I've got these ones, which are kind of a burnt orange colour, so they'd go nicely with the sunflowers. Or I've got these ones, which are kind of a pale yellow. I'm just trying to decide which ones I want to use, and I think the pale yellow ones are going to win. Um, they're a little bit more subtle, and I've got more of them. Um, and they're all the same size, so it's going to fill in all the different corners. So to add these, all you need to do is just peel them individually off of the backing sheet and then stick them where you want to go. And because they're sticky on the back, you can just push them down and it will stick on. If you can't get them off, you could use a, um, a pricking tool or a um, pair of tweezers or something to get them off the sheet. But I find the easiest thing to do is just to get your fingernail under them and just lift it off gently. And then that means you're already holding it so you can put it down where it needs to go. So we're using these to hide the messy corners where the two bits of peel off meet. But also because it's another way of adding some glitz and glam to the card. And it's a little bit of 3D-ness as well because they stand out from the paper. And overall it just gives a really nice, luxury, professional feel to your handmade cards. So I've just got two sides left to do. And one more. And there we have it. So if we think about how this was looking at the start of the video without any of this gold, it was still a really nice card, but we could give it a bit more va va voom, a bit more sparkle. So that's what we've done. And it's now got all these pretty gold peel-offs along each of the corners. So it's really sparkly and luxury and glittery. And then we've got these little circles in the corners as well to add even more oomph to the card. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up underneath and subscribe to my channel for more card making tutorials. Thank you for watching.